The typical American home is more than 30 years old, and for many that means a design that doesn't fit today's lifestyles. With so much to do and not a lot of time, people are demanding more from their homes. Joining us this morning to share some new home design feature advice is organizing expert Monica Ricky. So what would you say are some of the biggest changes in home design over the last three decades? Well, I think the biggest changes in home design really stem from homeowner changes. Mm -hmm. We're so much busier than we were 25 and 30 years ago. And I've spent the last nine years making my career in, out of helping people to get more organized and it all starts at home. So that's one of the things that I'm doing with Beezer Homes is helping them as an organizing expert to design homes that work and live to really terrific and fit today's busy lifestyles. Let's talk a little bit about the kitchen. Mm -hmm. I am standing in front of a beautiful big island here which is terrific for food preparation, for homework, or for dining. But if the storage space underneath the island isn't really up to par, it's a missed opportunity. And this is one of the reasons that Beezer Homes has contracted with me, because we've been making homes better from the ground up. This is a sliding tray bin. You can see that. You can keep your muffin tins and your cookie sheets and your serving trays right at your fingertips. And it's a great and simple way to make the most of your space. Here's some storage that would have been wasted, but it's not now. It can hold cans, it can hold oils and vinegars, all kinds of spices. And wait, there's more. If you look inside here, you can notice that we've actually used the inside of the cabinet doors instead of just the door space under here so that we're really maxing out the space. It's a really great way to add organization to your life without adding any more square footage. Monica, is it true that people are starting to put things like dog grooming stations in their houses as more standard things? I mean, I, I take my dog out back and I grab the hose and try to grab the dog. <laughs> you hose him down right? like a fireman, mm -hmm. I know. Well, one of the things that we came up with, me, myself and Beezer combined, is we came up with something called a pet care center because our studies indicated that 63% of Americans have pets. So this goes right in the laundry room and you can put your puppy right in here without having to drag him outside and without putting him in the bathtub where you take a bath. He can just get hosed off. And the thing is, even if you don't have pets, you can still use the pet care center because it's great for hosing down boots, or cleaning out buckets. Husbands. Maybe throw your kids in there. <laughs> exactly, right? Your kids come in and their feet are all muddy and just say, hey, get those shoes off and you throw their little feet in there. And it's really a great innovation and it, quite honestly, it's revolutionary in home design. Well, it's designed by Beezer Homes. I don't know um, if if you knew this, but I have been actually working with Beezer Homes for the last Ooh. for the last year. And we've been talking with consumers to find out what they need and want in a home. And as an organizing expert, I'm consulting with them to create homes that not only look great, but they live even better. And we've done this by building in organizational systems right into the structure of the home, which is totally revolutionary, if I may say so. Again, we're talking about convenience. It's really, really important to make your life convenient because that facilitates organization, especially when you're busy. You want the things that you need at your fingertips in the moment that you need them. Now, Monica, 10 years from now, what feature do you think every new home will have that it doesn't already have now? I think a couple of different things, Dana. First of all, we're going to look at having dedicated areas for your hobbies and activities. As we become a more social community, we're, we're on the internet more and we're entertaining at home more. And so we need to really think about things that support that. So creating an area to support your hobbies, your crafts, your activities is really important. This is a, a, a flat surface here. You can see it's great to be able to, to do the things that you need to do and that you enjoy, but also building in the extra storage is important, again, to support those things that you enjoy. And home management is one of those other things, too. Working from home is more popular than ever, and our technology has to really follow that. So we're building in homes that are already wired for high-speed internet and um, have additional outlets and plugs and charging stations, which is really important. Very good idea. I'm a big scrapbooker. I could definitely use a room like that in my house. <laughs> Monica, Ricky, thank you very much for those tips this morning. Beezer. Beezer Homes. Beezer Homes. Beezer. Beezer.com.